Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about a website or an app called Zoom. And Zoom is basically uh, an option available where you can have virtual meetings or virtual teaching learning session with your students if you're a teacher. And so in the Google search bar, I'm going to type in the word Zoom. Once you do that, the first link, if it looks like this, is the correct link. And you click on that link. On clicking on that link, what happens is it'll ask you if you want to create an account, and you will create an account with your username, and it's free of cost. Once you have your account created, it'll actually automatically take you to your account and give you an option of for saving your password. So I have already created my account, and it's directly taking me to the screen, and that is the same thing that will happen for you. Under my account, it's going to share the profile or my profile as to um, what all settings I have about my account. And I will go over the settings feature with you because this is something really important that you want to, um, being a teacher, you want to make sure that these settings are available for you and you can use them as per your need. So, for example, there is this is a whole plethora of choices that you have in settings, but there are some major ones that I wanted to go over with you. So, chat, some chat is something if you feel like you know you really want to activate chat in your sessions or not. The other one is private chat. I always keep it off because I don't want my students to talk to each other when I'm teaching the lesson. So it's up to you as to how you want it. They sound when participants leave, uh, join or leave. So I usually keep that on because I would like to hear that and figure out how many students are coming or leaving. File transfer, if you want to file um, transfer uh, some files or some worksheets, that is available as well. Always show meeting control toolbar. So in screen sharing, what happens is basically um, it's going to show you the meeting control toolbar and you can actually go through how many people are in there and you know things like that. Uh, screen sharing, I keep it to host only as you can see on the screen over here uh, because I would like to share my screen with my students. I usually keep uh, the setting where they cannot share their screens uh, if it can be a distraction. As you can see, there are many, many uh, options available here and uh, I just went over the important ones with you that can really help enhance your classroom time with them. And we will now move on to uh, host a meeting. And under host a meeting on this uh, top right hand corner, you have screen share only. If you just want to share your screen with your students, would you like to have a video on or would you like to have a video off when you're teaching them? So I just keep the video on for the first five or seven minutes to talk to them, and then I just move on to screen share. And that option is on the toolbar as well. You can just, during the class, you can keep it with video on, and then move on to screen share by just clicking a button. So join a meeting. This is something your students can use, or you can just share a link. On that note, I also want to bring your attention to Google Classroom. There is an option you can actually copy paste on Google Classroom. If you are planning to host a meeting, you can actually click the Zoom link, the Zoom, uh, uh, the meeting link. When you set up a meeting, you can actually copy paste the same link for your students and they can join your meeting um, with the same meeting ID or they can just click on this link and join your meeting. All right. so. We are going to schedule a meeting by clicking here. And under schedule a meeting, this is the page that you will see over here. And they're going to ask you what topic you want to give it. So this week, we have been working on polynomials with my students. So I just let them know that we will be adding and subtracting polynomials. And then it asks me what time I want the meeting and all that good stuff. And you can always make changes up to your um, settings. Then video, audio, all those things. And then they can join your meeting. The moment you click on save, this meeting will be created for you. 